Russia has tricked a group of young men from Ghana, Africa, into fighting in Ukraine. Those lucky enough to survive are begging for help. The story about the incident was aired on the Ghanaian Channel 3 News. Young Ghanaians were lured to the Russian Federation with the promise of work in security and agriculture with a salary of 400,000 rubles or about $4.3,000. Immediately upon arrival in Kostroma on August the 6th, they signed contracts with the Russian Ministry of Defense, being sure that this was an agreement for work. However, the reality turned out to be terrible. The Africans were immediately sent to the front without any training. They are now under constant shelling somewhere on the front line near occupied Donetsk. Of the 14 people, only three managed to survive. Residents of Ghana managed to contact journalists from their country. We are suffering. We are begging you. Please save us. We thought we would work here as security guards. Help, they say in the video. It is noteworthy that the young people were recruited by their famous compatriot named Abraham. He took 130,000 rubles or about $1.4,000 from each of them for help. In addition, the young people paid for their visa and flight to Russia themselves. Recall the Russian military has ramped up its recruitment of mercenaries from Africa to support its frontline operations in Ukraine. This is according to Kyiv's military intelligence service, adding that most foreign mercenaries are recruited from Rwanda, Burundi, Congo and Uganda. A sign-in bonus of $2,000 is promised for these foreign recruits in exchange for their agreement to become part of a special unit as assault troops. They are also said to receive a monthly allowance of $2,200 on top of health insurance and Russian passports for them and their families. The existence of African mercenaries in the Russian military has been noted since 2023 when the so-called Russian Africa Corps was created. Consisting of over 2,000 soldiers and officers, the unit reportedly operates alongside Moscow's regular army and Storm Z units. Many of these mercenaries served in the Wagner Group and already had experience in Syria, Libya, Burkina Faso and Niger. Russia has threatened a missile strike on Strasbourg if Ukraine is allowed to fire Western weapons at Russian territory. This was stated by the State Duma Speaker Vyacheslav Volodin, commenting on the news that the European Parliament called for lifting restrictions on Ukraine's strikes on Russian territory. If this happens, Russia will give a tough response using more powerful weapons. No one should have any illusions about this. The State Duma insists on this, Volodin said. Moreover, the Russian politician asked two public questions to the MEPs. He wondered whether they had consulted voters before voting on this decision and whether Europeans wanted war to come to their home. Before making such a decision, we should have remembered the lessons of World War II. Then, 27 million Soviet citizens died in the fight against fascism. It was our country that liberated you and all of Europe. The only thing the European Parliament should do after such a statement is to dissolve itself. For reference, the Sarmat missile's flight time to Strasbourg is 3 minutes and 20 seconds, Volodin added. Recall the European Parliament has called on EU member states to lift existing restrictions that prevent Ukraine from using Western weapons systems to destroy legitimate military targets in Russia. According to the EP website, the corresponding resolution was supported by 425 European deputies, 63 abstained and 131 were against. The text of the resolution states that without lifting the current restrictions, Ukraine cannot fully exercise its right to self-defense and remains vulnerable to attacks on its civilian population and infrastructure. The European Parliament stressed that insufficient supplies of ammunition and restrictions on their use create a risk that previous efforts will be nullified. MEPs also expressed regret over the reduction in bilateral military aid to Ukraine from EU countries. MEPs reiterated their call on EU member states to fulfill their commitments made in March 2023 to provide Ukraine with 1 million shells and to speed up the supply of weapons and air defense systems, including German Taurus missiles. In addition, the EP reiterated its position that all EU countries and NATO allies must collectively and individually commit to annually allocating at least 0.25% of their GDP for military support to Ukraine. 